Hi everyone, today we're going to be reading chapter 2 of Help! A Vampire's Coming from the series Ready Freddy by Abby Klein, illustrated by John McKinley. So if you remember, we read chapter 1, which was called Go to Sleep, and do you remember why Freddy couldn't go to sleep? What, can, what did he keep asking for, and why didn't he want to close his eyes? Okay, so chapter two is called Exhausted. Do you know why he might be exhausted? Let's see. I was up for most of the night because whenever I started to fall asleep, the nightmares came. And I had to open my eyes to make them go away. The next morning when my alarm went off, I was so surprised I fell out of bed and hit the floor hard. Ugh. Freddy, my mom called, come on down, time for breakfast. I climbed back into bed, just five more minutes. I could close my eyes now because it was the morning. The nightmares didn't come when the sun was out. I must have fallen back asleep because the next thing I knew, Susie was standing over me, yelling in my ear, get up, brat. <sighs> mom says you better be at breakfast in five minutes or else we'll be late for the bus. And I'm not waiting for you. I stumbled out of bed, put on my clothes, and dragged myself down the stairs to the kitchen. Well, look who's here, said my mom. Sleeping beauty. More like one of the ugly stepsisters, Susie said, laughing. Looks like someone's having a bad hair day. Leave him alone, said my dad from behind his newspaper. I yawned loudly. You see, Freddy, said my mom, this is what happens when you don't get enough sleep. You have to go to bed earlier. I was so tired I could barely keep my head up. As my mom talked, my head nodded forward and snapped back, nodded forward and snapped back. Then the next thing I knew, my face fell and plopped right into my cereal bowl. I could barely see through the oatmeal stuck to my eyelashes. <laughs> Look at Freddy. That is the funniest thing I've ever seen, Susie screamed with laughter. Freddy, my mom called and yelled as she ran over and pulled my head out of the bowl. He was that tired. My face was covered in mushy, wet oatmeal. Are you all right? Yeah, fine, I said. A lump of oatmeal slowly dripped off my hair and plopped on the floor. My mom cleaned me up and gave me another bowl of oatmeal. Well, that does it, Freddy. There will be no Commander Upchuck for you tonight. You are going to bed early, and that's final. But, Mom, I started to plead as she cut me off. No buts. You are exhausted. Just look at you. How do you expect to stay awake in school? I could always stay home from school, Mom. That's not fair, Susie complained. Susie, be quiet, said my mom. Besides, I never said Freddy was staying home, so I don't know what you're whining about. Freddy, you are going to school. Being tired is not a reason to stay home. You'll just have to get more sleep tonight. Easy for her to say, I mumbled to myself. She doesn't have nightmares. Well, I gotta go, said Susie as she grabbed her backpack and headed for the door. I don't want to be late for the bus. Wait for your brother, my, my dad said and called after her. Yeah, wait for me, I yelled. I grabbed my backpack with the shark fin on the, on the back and ran to the door. But Susie stopped me and said, where do you think you're going, dog breath? To the bus, like that, said Susie laughing. Like what? In your underwear? Huh? I looked down. All I had on was my t-shirt, underwear, and socks. No pants, no shoes. I'm sure your little girlfriend, Jessie, would love to see your great white shark undies. They're so cute. She's not my girlfriend, I said. I tried to cover myself up with my hands. I just forgot my pants. Well, you better go 
put some on because the bus will be here any minute and I'm not waiting. I ran upstairs, threw on some pants and shoes and raced back down just as the bus pulled up in front. And as I ran to get on, I tripped and scraped my knee on the sidewalk. When I finally got on the bus, I leaned back in my seat and closed my eyes, hoping to take a quick nap on the way to school. And that, my friends, is chapter two. What do you think is going to happen in chapter three? It's called Your Worst Nightmare. See you later, friends. Until next time.